सतनाम श्री वाहेगुरु साहिब जीओ सतनाम श्री वाहेगुरु साहिब जीओ तनासरी महला चौथा इच्छा पूरक सर्व सुख दाता हर जाके वस है काम तेना सो ऐसा हर त्याई है मेरे जियड़े ता सर्व सुख पावे मेरे मना इच्छा पूरक सर्व सुख दाता हर जाके वस है काम तेना सो ऐसा हर त्याई है मेरे जियड़े ता सर्व सुख पावे मेरे मना जप मन सत नाम सदा सत नाम हालत पलत मुख उजल होई है नित त्याई है हर पुरख निरंजना रहाओ जै हर सिमरन पया तह उपाद गत कीनी बड भागी हर जपना जन नान को गुर ए मत दीनी जप हर भव जल तरना जै हर सिमरन पया तह उपाद गत कीनी बड भागी हर जपना जन नान को गुर ए मत दीनी जप हर भव जल तरना वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह auspicious indicators way of rise satisfaction starts increasing in this state and the disciple starts doing each activity with ease the thought of sin and virtue starts increasing the thought of correct incorrect will start running inside us progress in work also begins easiness in lifestyle will start coming in auspicious indicators way of fool the opportunity of unscrupulousness starts coming greed starts increasing workload starts increasing in which duration for devotional song has to be reduced or finished one has to work at that time when we used to enchant the hymns the meaning is that dirt and deflection of mind will start increasing the auspicious indicators have to be catch hold among these two leaving behind the inauspicious indicators after being recognized in auspicious nature will increase mind's level by which worldly attachment will enhance worship towards god and saints will only remain as duty objective now at this point of time we have to make our mind understand because of whom you had started getting rest after searching one will get to know that all this happened due to the devotional songs then if after leaving devotional songs you start doing the devotional songs of in auspicious indicators and rectify happiness and sorrow then you will not be benefited as the great personalities say that whosoever is a human now has at least once remained the king of heaven if someone is king of entire earth young having complete luxury complete fame healthy from body 
everyone is obedient and if the subjects consider him as its father even after so much charisma that king's happiness is yet not equal to people of low category living in heaven three types of heaven are there high category medium category and low category heaven there is so much difference in the happiness of the king of entire earth and low category people living in earth as there is a bowl of excreta and bowl of sweet the king's happiness is like an excreta bowl and the happiness of low category people living in heaven is like a sweet bowl saint isha singh ji maharaj tells in one story that after 14 times being the king of world of indra he was made an ant with two broken legs at the back in this way saint isha singh ji maharaj was wandering at the place of animals cows buffaloes a straw of grass stick to his shoes when a disciple was about to take it out then maharaj ji said i'll take it out taking it in hand he mashed that straw when he was asked he told them he is the king of the world of indra which has now become the grass now it will be able to go in the stomach of some cow and it will become milk in this series after a long cycle it has to become a human but now it will directly take birth in the house of a man the gist is from happiness of low category people of the world of heaven happiness of entire planet's king is million miles distant we have all remained the king of heaven when this great happiness never remained even then this happiness of achieving millions and trillions will remain in this way understand your mind this birth is like a mere dream only attaining our objective by devotional songs is our achievement as teachers tell in school that he is a dumb boy and make him sit among the smart boys and make him friends with them then he will also become smart in this way before peeling cucumber one edge is cut and rubbed on the cucumber then its bitterness comes out in this way we are not to make our life low at the spiritual level but accompanying the one with cheap thoughts cheap vision cheap eating and drinking habits like butter comes out by beating the cream and ghee comes out afterwards in this way at the spiritual level accompanying higher category people while remaining in the shadow of knowledge one should achieve his objective the devotion cannot keep away from god as it is written in gurbani jive mama nu ne putr pyare bhagat pyare rab nu kal yug vich bahut aasan bhagti marg hai ate o hai kirtan in the age of vices the path of worship is very easy and that is prayer that is why whatsoever speech guru nanak dev ji delivers is via by singing only so that it can be later expressed in guru vani like this holy service is very much required for chanting and prayer is very much required for holy service as prayer is the mother of holy service and chanting as while chewing food saliva comes out of mouth and it helps in digesting food while getting mixed with food 
Likewise, any flaws in holy service and prayers that took birth in egoistic mind form from it in many forms and burning all of them and to digest the chanting prayer is very beneficial medicine. In quantity of such that the time which you want to invest has to be one three types of paths told, i.e. 40% of it in prayer, 35% and 25% of it in chanting. As the progress occurs in chanting, the sages accordingly will decrease the holy service done by us and slowly and gradually, according to the spiritual achievement, decrease the devotional prayers as well. But these devotional prayers and holy services will continue till the last achievement. This is true that selfishness helps till the last step of devotion to achieve which the man remains in devotion continuously. But there is a difference in one and other selfishness. From homely things to five liberations is all selfishness of lower category. Asking God from God and demanding true love from God is the higher category of selfishness. Some part of devotion can be done selflessly and keeping higher category selfishness as devotional prayer, holy service, chanting, then do its last part while saying the God sitting inside that I am doing this selflessly and selfishness of higher category for some time. So please grant me grace. As one will bring the selfless feeling, likewise the path will become easier. As fall is definite from the path of decline, Suicide is very big sin in this life, doing which one attains evil state only. He gets into the species of ghosts and evil spirits, monster. But still, if he wants to die, then he should die like disciple Dhruv. The young boys and girls fallen for suicide and depression must go in their spiritual master's home and perform hard holy service and meditation so that they get released from this thought. In boys and girls with narrow understanding and where the amount of lust is greater because of which delay does not occur in carrying away with lust of any person or material thus destroying unknown numbers of years of life. They require putting this attraction towards Almighty God and acquiring complete stage as Mira, Tanajat. Only this thing has to be remembered that in each spiritual home both very nice and bad people are there. The disciple acquires humbleness and gets engaged in holy service and chanting while seeing his safety. Complete intelligence is only the enlightened one who is not found everywhere. However, it's also sinful having ill intention over saints and great personalities, as firstly here the human is destroying himself and secondly by bringing ill intention over the sage, faith in life is our culture. Anything deprived of truth is not acceptable. It is our lifestyle. Till the time we safeguard the truth, culture will protect us. We have faith in truth and have to reach till our objective with truth only. Belief has to be the basis of truth. The path to reach the truth may vary, community may vary, but the targets do not vary. 
Meditation is between the target and disciple. Meditation of followers of one spiritual master may vary as meditation is also the path. The objective is not indifferent because of the differences in meditation and communities. In this our thought should be there with which we can fully survive materialistic and spiritual lifestyle. There is nothing baseless in this universe. It is different that we understand what is visible and we consider baseless that is not visible. As gold is the base of gold jewelry, glass is the base of glass utensils. Clay is the base of clay utensils. Subtle world is the basis of physical world. Casual world is the basis of subtle world. As subtle world cannot be without casual world and the casual world cannot exist without the spirit. No soul can exist without the supreme soul. That means God exists in each soul as the wetness exists in the water. Likewise, physical body cannot exist without subtle body. and subtle body has no existence without the casual body and the casual body cannot be there without the soul likewise are all the great personalities which call the almighty absolute blissful conscious form as if nothing lies in the room we call that room vacant and we cannot name anything likewise If something does not exist in the physical world then it cannot be named but if there is anything then only it can be named as sand water and fire is visible to us but the air is named even after not being seen and its infinite time subtle sky which is not even felt is also named that sky in which infinite types of gases are there and from those gases the ones traced by scientists were named but those who are not yet traced have no names this is not the case that other types of gases do not exist but they were not named because of not being traced In this way all sages speak one thing only that God is absolute blissful conscious form this means that the sand which has lifeless form is lifeless in subtle world as well and subtle world which is most subtle form is lifeless sand is lifeless even in casual world and the lifelessness found in casual world is within infinite time subtle soul which is narrated by making truth likewise the consciousness of the physical world bodies is of most subtle form in subtle bodies the consciousness of ghosts evil spirits and gods goddesses is also as that of physical bodies This subtle body is conscious is also in conscious bodies the consciousness of most subtle form and casual bodies is ultimately on conscious of the soul that is known as psyche and that becomes blissful by doing various types of actions in the material world whether good or bad that bliss which passes from subtle to casual body is of that soul only that is nomenclated as love and god that because of dirt and deflection is achieved under the actions only and is eternal blissful conscious form being the soul and entity of god the sages have termed the pure self form as eternal blissful conscious form by reaching there 
and after knowing the pure form of god which is named as object of enjoyment experiencer and prairi karam when the vision while being subtle and pure becomes supreme this becomes truth nature body in the formless world as this body has become truth nature in this world like this when the feeling becomes extremely subtle and pure it becomes the conscious form of that world when it attains god's true and pure light like love it becomes the blissful form in this way every human soul leaving its humanity attains its pure eternal blissful conscious nature and eternal blissful conscious like body that becomes illuminated glorious neutral unperceivable unborn always enlightened very serious bright inexpressible undefeatable invisible boundless sizeless imperceptible imperishable divine element impermeable fearless bliss form homely supreme man pure unmatchable grand world weary endless ulterior writable unconceivable surprising immortal supreme beautiful wonderful unvoiced always live self form detached supreme entity there is no designation of human soul above this and that is why the spiritual masters had said atm ras jin janneya so hai khalas dev prab mein mo mein taas mein ranchak nahi bhed no difference remains between the soul and god after reaching here that is why it is said that only god can see the god only god can feel god only god can understand god as saint isa singh ji maharaj used to tell that a king's politics can be known by a king only like this those who are positioned in the supreme entity are worshipable if we can try to concentrate on any light darkness or any word then better concentrate on divine saint great personalities spiritual masters and guru granth sahib as they are supreme purest form than darkness light and words this is how it is known that nothing is formless everything is concrete when we see the wind we only feel it and cannot see it then it does not mean that wind does not exist several microorganisms in that wind are like those whose childhood youth and elderly age passes in one hour only if we cannot see them then it does not mean that they are formless now we cannot see the microorganisms but these microorganisms creates universe and enjoys with each other by uniting with one another they do that as one microorganism knows the other one very well as one person very well knows the other person in this way the god knowing human soul meaning its eternal blissful conscious form is absolute blissful conscious form and knows in the way as a person knows the person or a microorganism knows other microorganism that creates universe in the air secondly scientists see microorganisms using microscope and if we disobey to know the concrete then a big example is in front of us baba buddha ji whose speech gave birth to guru hagobind ji 
but at the end time of baba buddha ji he prayed that guru har gobind ji my time has come please give me your sight while sitting in front of me when the enlightened great soul is keeping absolute form of god in front of him then it is not appropriate if we do not believe in concrete form of god similarly there was a muslim in rada sahib who god lemons as he was muslim he was restrained to have water and fast in food hole when his last time came he was praying saint isha singh ji while laying in his room that baba ji come and visit me then baba ji coming out of pura sahib came in front then that muslim said that maharaj please come towards my feet as my neck is not moving so that i can see you then baba ji stood beside his feet and baba ji said that although you visit me daily then why being so stubborn that come and visit me but now if i have come i'll not let it go wish something from me then muslim said that i longed for your sight which is fulfilled on your arrival i do not need anything then baba ji said i'll not let go like this the service you did to spiritual home for 10 to 12 years while staying at the spiritual home if you need kingdom in exchange of it then even being entire earth king will be smaller we shall grant you the designation of the world of indra then the muslim said maharaj i do not want anything i only longed for your sight which is now fulfilled then baba ji said for the third time brother i'll not let you go like this wish something then that muslim said if you have arrived in grace like feeling home and want to shower your grace then grant that i was not able to distribute feast in your home to your disciples during the current birth then i shall serve water and fast to disciples while coming to your home in the next birth then after so many years when the meditation of baba ranjit singh virakt ji completed then he was doing holy service in the spiritual master's home then big baba ji came and asked virakt ji that brother do you know who is that sikh who is distributing the feast who is very lovingly feeding the disciples then virakt ji said that maharaj ji i know then baba ji asked tell me who is he then he told that sikh serving fest was born in himachal and have come in this spiritual home after studying for few years baba ji said tell me something else about him then virakt ji said that i am sorry but i know this only you please tell then maharaj ji told that he is a muslim which god laments at our gurdwara earlier now the suspicious people doubt that why did he not ask enlightenment straight away then enlightenment is the name of a spiritual state which the curious seeker has to reach him by doing hard labor as the extent of disciples chanting and holy service on its force likewise the sages form the amount of grace like direction no one gets anything without right as infinite enlightened people have become great personalities where they do such a hard labor chanting gives visit runs chanting and holy service practice then they need not to do any hard labor and gives enlightenment to all at one time only then spiritual journey of human soul ends at one time only but 
This is self labor of curious seeker that it labors till what extent this all is given to the rightful if we will say that we do not concentrate on any form then what is outside the form if we say on word then word is also a form darkness is also a form and light is also a form attainment of concrete is possible from the formless only as the god kept eating and talking with namdev ji and gave concrete sight for 72 times even after that when the topic of spiritual progress appeared and then god said that a great personality lives at that place take initiation from him and then start your work then disciple namdev ji went there to meet him then namdev ji saw that great personality who is sitting while keeping his foot over the iconic stone of vishnu called form like god only in hindu religion when he start moving back then that great personality called namdev ji and asked that you have been sent by god come inside when he came inside he asked that how are you sitting while keeping your foot over the god then he said that this stone was god to me till the time my divine eyes were not opened when my celestial eyes opened then i get to know that there is no place and thing without the god means everywhere god exists now this is only a stone for me when concrete form of formless is understood then this form of absolute world does not hold any meaning as a big mountain is broken into small pieces from it a precious gem like diamond is attained after that this mountain like dust which is formed of three types of world physical subtle and causal world from it like this mountain only leaving that precious gem our self spirit remaining all appears like a burden antrut lifeless sorrowful momentary form to the curious seeker those who practice in the proximity of spiritual master like sages the sages make them perform chant devotion while analyzing the actions meditation and feeling like energy and when inner conscious purifies completely then the inner conscious will be made into celestial inner conscious by the sages only and while maintaining the celestial love gained by them place it into celestial inner conscious so that curious seeker will become resident of that country as one lit lamp lightens the other lamp and from the celestial love timeless being is worshiped such your own self true being is met and one becomes the resident of that country there is no fall again from there where there is no scope of country time and material the spiritual masters and great personalities told about that country suhi mahalla panjwa sukh mahal ja ke uch dware ta mah vas hai bhagat pyare sahaj katha prab ki at meethi विरल काहू नेत्र हो डीठी रहाओ तह गीत नाद अखारे संगा ऊहा संत करह हर रंगा तह मरन न जीवन सोग न हर खा साच नाम की अमृत वरखा गहज कथा एह गुरते जानी नानक बोले हार हर बाणी गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब अंग 739 The devotee Kabir ji has said hum vasi us desh ke jahan par brahm ka khel diya jale agam ka 
bin baati bin tel the devotee ravidas ji have said begam pura sahar ko nao dukh andoh nahi teh thao na tasveer sikhraj na maal khauf na khata na tars jawal ab mohe khub vatan gah paai muha khair sada mere bhai rahao कायम दायम सदा पात साही दोम न सेम एक सो आही आबादान सदा मशहूर मुहा गनी बसह मामूर त्यो त्यो सैल करह जो भावे महरम महल न को अटकावे कहर विदास खलास चमारा जो हम सहरी सो मीत हमारा द एक्सीलेंस सीख has to acquire patience and thankfulness and if some type of spiritual experience occurs then it has to be considered extremely ordinary and if some inner happiness or powers are obtained digest them in such a way as water digest immediately when taken down the throat a sikh with such a philosophy covers this journey very quickly attain state of awakening by considering all dualities with the same meaning sukh dukh dono sam kar janna aur maan apmana har ek sog te reh atita tin jag tat pashana जन नानक एहो खेल कठन है किन्हु गुरमुख जाना गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब अंग 218 एट लास्ट द लिबरेशन टोल्ड अर्लियर दे आर आल्सो बिगेस्ट लास्ट बॉन्ड एज इन श्लोकया प्लैनेट वेयर द गॉड रिजाइड्स फॉरएवर सिचुएट्स इन हिज वर्ल्ड एंड इन डिटैचमेंट liberation forever situates in that country of brahma however the soul has not done labor like practice to finally get bonded in a big bond of infinite period by leaving a small bond wahe guru ahe guru ahe guru वाहे गुरु 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 वाहे गुरु